Hi, I'm Randy and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel like hi-fi equipment, speakers, DACs, amps, turntables, surround processors, speaker wire, equalizers should cost more than a big wheel of cheese. And this doesn't. It is the Balari. It's a little equalizer. Little equalizer. So sit down. Grab a cup of coffee and let's talk about the Balari EQ570. Today's sponsor is Mini Cans of Soda. When you when you want to pay more per ounce for soda and not remotely get enough soda, buy a mini can of soda you pay more and you're still going to be thirsty. Okay. The Balari. Let's see if we can get this in focus again. There we go. Maybe there we go. It's a little four band EQ made in America. It's $120 and it's really cool looking with fire engine, red paint and gold knobs and white, big push buttons. I mean, what's better than that? I don't know. Nothing in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Please focus. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Everything's working great over here. All right. You got RCA in, RCA out, 3.5 millimeter in, 3.5 millimeter out, depending upon how you want to use it. How do you use it? You take a, a source like a preamp or a DAC or a, I don't know, turntable or whatever um, and then you put this in the middle so you run the RCAs from your DAC or your preamp or what have you into your equalizer and then out of the equalizer you run that into your power amp you don't need a power amp you could you do the same thing with uh, an integrated amp okay uh, these are set up for 60 400 Hertz 2000 Hertz and 7500 Hertz okay Let's see if we can get a Look at that again. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, so 60, let's just go. We're gonna go uh, uh, other way here. Bass, mid-range, most, most of the mid-range, lower mid-range, upper mid-range, and then treble, all right? So I find this very useful in the 2000 hertz, hertz range because for me, that can be the fatiguing range. I use this to not only fix the speakers that I don't particularly care for so that I can listen to them, but also to get an idea of how a speaker's frequency response is without actually setting up a mic and measuring the speaker because to me, for my ears, my preference is a pretty flat. Maybe a type of a uh, really flat and then maybe a bit of a U shape in the upper mid-range um, but mostly flat so depending upon how I get this set up I kind of know okay this is a flat speaker this is a u-shaped speaker this is a very spiky speaker around the 2k region or what have you the thing's built very well it's very small too so I don't know I'll do this comparison this is a uh, tape measure and both red incidentally all right actually since I have the tape measure it is five and a half inches long, uh, two and three quarters inches deep, and about one and a half tall. You can put it anywhere, okay? I really like it. It feels good. It feels awesome. And for $120, uh, you can get a different sound. So if you got some really thin sounding speakers in the mid range, you can bring that up. If your speakers aren't bassy enough, you can bring that up. Now, I will say, uh, best practices from what I've heard is you get the mm, the changes right or you get the bass set up correctly and everything and you see kind of the difference between 60 hertz and 250 hertz and 2k and then 7500 hertz and then what you do is you maintain those same differences but you bring whatever is the highest you bring that back to zero so for instance if you want a boost at 60 hertz and you're like one o'clock on the dial and then you want to keep 
400 hertz, I'm sorry, I said 250, 400 hertz um, flat or straight up, what you do is you would dial back the 60 hertz to zero and then you would dial the 400 hertz down from whatever the difference was. And you'd do the same thing for uh, 2000 hertz and, and uh, 7500 hertz, okay? That way you're not introducing a bit of distortion. Is that like a huge thing? I don't know. If it was, then why would they go plus, okay? I think what's going to happen though is if you add a ton of gain in that frequency range, you could introduce clipping, okay? That's how I've always done it and that's how people have told me. You get the same sound, you just have to turn up the volume a little bit more, okay? I also have the shit Loki in. Uh, it has a bit of a different, it's also a four band EQ, all right? Uh, different frequencies though. And I miss EQs. Back in the 80s and the 90s, equalizers were ubiquitous and they had cool lights and i really like the cool lights more than i i like the functionality i didn't really know what i was doing uh, with an eq back then but it was cool to turn off my lights listen to some deaf leopard and watch the little leds pop up and down in the middle frankly i wish they still had those um, but you can get one of these all right i highly recommend this thing um I use this with uh, the Rysong A10 or Bayou Range A10 and then the Bayou Range uh, MT34 Mark II. And a lot of times when you put something in the signal chain, it can kind of collapse maybe the sound stage or maybe it's not going to be as wide. However, when you're using, in my experience, with a tube amp, you kind of gain that back. So I haven't really had an issue with this at all. I'll put it between... Uh, the Emotiva TA100 and the P300, P300, I think. It's the big power amp that's been discontinued. Um, put it in between a DAC and my tube amp. Yeah, it's great. I really like it. I really, really like it. Actually, I sent a video uh, recording to one of my buddies. and Because there's a, there's a button here where you can turn it on. Basically... Uh, activate your EQ or turn it off and it's really cool when you dial in your settings you can go what does it sound like with my settings what does it sound without my settings and I've recorded it and sent it to him and he's like whoa that sounds way better yeah so couldn't recommend this more $120 made in the USA usually you can't find that usually you're getting cheap or you're getting awesome and cheap uh, but not made where you want it to be made rarely do you get cheap awesome and made in the usa all right so if you want to support the channel you can you can sign up for patreon patreon.com slash cheap audio man every sunday night we have patron only zooms we also have patron only content we also have a patron only facebook group you can also use the link to purchase this i get a small commission any of the links in the description for the most part are affiliate links you can also sign up for Amazon Music HD for free. Click on the link, scroll down to the bottom, click Try HD. You get three months for free. I get a couple of dollars, and we're all happy. I have some playlists in the description, my test tracks, my Satanic Panic, as well as leg warmers, okay? So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen through your Balari EQ 570 and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.